thanks for joining in. I got a video for you. It's going to be hopefully a quick one. I was getting ready for my company Christmas party and I decided I would shoot a brief video. Originally it was just going to be what I'm wearing to the Christmas party, but I decided to go ahead and make it a 10 fall fragrances, fall and winter fragrances for this year. So tonight I'm going to be wearing Shalimar Vintage Perfume and this is circa about 1960. Um, love it. Great. Okay, let's get started. Ten fragrances, and I'm not going to count because I'm going to lose order. I'll just go through them. Um, the first one, and these are not in any particular order, Fionn Egui from the House of Ceres Laton. Great. It's a great pine incense fragrance. I love it. Another one from the House of Ceres Laton is Ceres Noir. And this one may, this one I think is kind of a polarizing scent because it's got a cumin note in it, but it's very spicy, cumin, clove, and incense, and it's, it's probably one of the more gothic fragrances that I own. And here's another one, Mousque Ravageur from the House of Frédéric Law, and I've had this for a few months. I love it. It's a comforting scent to me. I enjoy wearing it. Dior Privé Leather Oud. It's another one. Great one. I love it. I don't care. It's animalic. Love it. I really don't find it to be too animalic, honestly. It's kind of... I guess it kind of has that civity opening. and To me, the honey in it is more animalic than the civet. But uh, as it dries down, it gets this burning leaves kind of scent. And I just really like it. I like it a lot. And it has a great performance. So... Another one is a new one from the house of Orto Parisi, and it's called Varide. And I think I pronounced that right because I asked Alessandro Gutierrez himself, and that's how he pronounced it, so I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Great. It's a very, very herbal, grassy, uh, earthy scent, which I love. Love it. And here's another one. This is a popular one for the holidays from the Hermesence line. Amber, Amber Narguile. Some people say Amber Narguile, whatever. I don't know how it's pronounced. I just saw a video of Jean-Claude Elena and he said Amber Narguile, so that's what I call it. Great one. Love it. Another one from the house of Byredo. I just picked this up and I love it. I think it's a great daytime scent. Performance lasts a long time. It's an inoffensive, pleasant scent. It's kind of floral, unisex, um, not overly floral. It's got magnolia and um, uh, another fruit. I can't remember the name of the fruit. I guess it's this fruit that comes from the desert. Mojave Ghosts. Yeah, really good. I like it. I wear this a lot. I think it's a great daytime scent. And... Another one in my lineup, none other than one of my favorite from the House of Amouage, is Interlude Man. Yeah, you can't go. Mm, you can't go the winter without it. Interlude Man in your lineup. Okay. And here's another one. This time it's from the House of Guerlain, and it's Habit Rouge, like straight. And I actually got this free. Yeah. I went to Neiman's and the S, the sales associate there said that she couldn't find it anywhere in their system and they don't sell it here, so she just basically wrapped this up and gave it to me free. I was blown away. This is like $250 plus dollar for 50 mil and it's, you know, it was about half full or more. So I was really grateful for that and gave her a big hug. And last but not least is another one from the House of Guerlain, and I really love this. I think it's very classy, very gentlemanly, and it was between this and the Shalimar X-Trait, the vintage one that I'm wearing tonight um, for the Christmas party, but I decided to go with the, the Shalimar. And this is uh, Derby, Guerlain Derby. Yeah, great one. Love it. Very classy. Spicy leather. Well, that's it. See you later.